Welcome to another Dell Corporation Quality Management System Presentation 8.7 Control of Non-Conforming Products This training presentation will be different from the usual QMS training presentations. This presentation will focus on non-conforming principles and tools. I trust that you will read the procedure, but for this presentation focus on the big picture. QMS P8.7001 Control of Non-Conforming Outputs is the documented quality management system procedure that makes provision for controlling and managing activities associated with non-conformance identification, management, and resolution. The goal of any non-conformance reporting system is to identify products, services, or processes that do not conform to specified requirements as early as possible. Identify the root cause of the nonconformance. Manage activities to mitigate negative effects. Develop a corrective action plan to, elim to eliminate the possibility of similar nonconformities. Maintain records of nonconformance activities to be used as a historical lessons learned. The next few slides are some definitions common to the quality management system. A nonconformance is a product, service, or process that does not meet specified requirements. Specified requirements are expressed, documented, or implied physical and or functional parameters a particular product, process, or service is measured against or must conform to. The root cause is an event that proves to be the catalyst for a nonconformity such that if the event is not fully realized the nonconformity is likely not to occur. The Material Review Board or MRB is an individual or group responsible for providing input towards determining the root cause and developing corrective action plans towards resolution of a nonconformance occurrence. Corrective actions are a set of planned activities, when properly and thoroughly implemented, eliminate, or greatly reduce, the possibility of nonconformance recurrence. Disposition is an instruction that determines how a non-corming material by trade. Examples include, use as is, scrap, rework, repair, return to supplier, retrain, repair by replacement, process change, Create, revise documents. Effectiveness, the determination of how successful a planned set of actions realize a desired outcome. Let's take a look at some non-conforming output examples. For product, motor failure during FAT, cut or bent items do not fit, tank leaks during testing, coil leak during pressure test. Product painted with a two-coat system when a three-coat system was specified. Fabrication not done in accordance with drawings. For process nonconformances, purchase order does not adequately describe product. Receiving inspection for parts not accomplished. Drawings released without proper approval. Product not tested in accordance with planned arrangements. Release of product inspection not accomplished. Customer property not processed or identified in accordance with procedures. Nonconformities for service may include commissioning or setup not accomplished in accordance with procedures or customer requirements, refurbishment accomplished with no verification testing, traceability of components not maintained. A nonconformance report should be initiated when a failure defect has been identified and the root cause is not known or needs to be developed through MRB, Material Review Board. A corrective action report should be initiated when a failure slash defect has been identified and the root cause is known. A preventive action report should be initiated when it is suspected that a failure slash defect may occur if current conditions continue. Note. Preventive action reports should also be initiated for management of change opportunities. QISS is the electronic tool that manages activities and resources required for the effective operation and management of the quality management system. The QISS NCR module is the primary tool for reporting, planning, 
managing, and resolving identified nonconformities. When processing an NCR effectively, start with a concise description of the nonconformance. Include what, where, and when. How will be determined in the root cause analysis. Avoid clouding the issue with unnecessary details. Avoid stating opinions as to the root cause of the nonconformance. Include only facts about the current nonconformance. If there are repeat occurrences, they can be associated in the nonconformance reporting module. Include the expected result and the actual result. Start the investigation process as early as possible. The goal of the NCR process is a quick and effective resolution. Starting early keeps the facts about the nonconformance current and not influenced by time. Forgotten details are elaboration. The earlier the process starts, the earlier the possibility of recurrence is eliminated. Consider all possibilities when determining root cause. MRB input is critical to determining actual root cause. Idea sharing may reveal potentially undeveloped, unconsidered thought processes. Avoid premature conclusions. Let the MRB process develop the outcome. There is only one root cause. Other considerations, although severe, may be contributing. But ultimately accurately determining the root cause is the only effective way to minimize or eliminate the possibility of recurrence. Verify the effectiveness of any corrective action. Don't rely on one person to make the determination on effectiveness. Just as the MRB helps to develop root cause the MRB can help determine effectiveness. Question. Did the occurrence become an isolated instance? Effective. Or did it recur? Ineff ineffective. Communicate results within the organization. Documentation is the key to success. Documentation starts with initiating a nonconformance report. Use as many documents as needed to effectively substantiate the nonconformance. Photo document as much as possible picture is worth a thousand words. Complete steps in QISS as quickly and as accurately as possible. Capture costs. Enter costs such as man hours lost and cost of materials. Calculate downtime associated with a nonconformance. The cost of nonconformance has a significantly negative impact on the bottom line for each project. We must accurately capture those associated costs to effectively report actual project, co project costs. Each nonconformance costs the organization money. Capturing nonconformance cost helps in risk management. Eliminating nonconformance can save the organization tens of thousands of dollars annually. Dollars that can be spent on other resources. Time is not on your side. Process nonconformances in accordance with QMSP 8.7001 and with task assignments from the nonconformance reporting module. Don't wait. Initiate. If you think there is a nonconformance, Enter it into QISS and allow the process to determine whether further act action is required. Talking about an undocumented nonconformance that happened a year ago does not add value to the process or benefit the organization. If it's not documented, it didn't happen. Remember the three I's. Identify. Early identification of a potential nonconformance can save the organization time and money. Isolate. Isolate the non-conforming material to prevent its unintended use or delivery. Initiate. Initiate a non-conformance to develop a corrective action solution and to min minimize the possibility of recurrence. The NCR process is not only an important part of organizational success, but also a requirement in ISO 9001 to 2015. If done consistently and effectively non-conformance reporting can save the organization money, as well as promote continual improvement and consistency within the product, real product realization process. If done effectively the non-conformance reporting system will add significant value to the organization's products, processes, and services. Thank you for your participation in the quality management system at Dell Corporation. Should you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out to Danny via email, danny at deltank.com. Call or text to 337-224-2873, or stop by and have a conversation. Just remember.
The time and energy capital spent to hang on to the past would yield greater returns if invested in the future.